Hello friends, day 73 my challenge and I'd like to wish you all a happy lunar new year. Uh, chúc mừng năm mới các bạn. Uh, uh, chúc làm làm ăn phát đạt và uh, mạnh khỏe và bình an. So for my Viet friends, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to level up my Viet, so I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> uh, Chinese friends, gong hei phát choi, pang yao. Uh, and that's all I know. However, for those who are not familiar with it, uh, Vietnamese New Year uh, falls on the same day as Chinese New Year. And it's based on lunar uh, calendar. And uh, to be honest, I don't know much about it. I, I really don't. I remember going up and just having a few celebrations here and there, but we really didn't make a huge deal out of it. Um, I remember sometimes my mom would, we would have a, a family get together. I'd say, oh, cool. It's, it's a party. Which is fun, uh, but I didn't really notice a lot of different traditions or stuff that uh, we did. That's, you know, I don't know. I, well, maybe I didn't ask. I don't remember. <laughs> and so, uh, but uh, in Vietnam, um, apparently it's a huge, massive celebration. My dad and mom and family, they always tell me, you got to go back during um, uh, Chinese New Year. Because it's like a massive celebration. Everyone is on the streets, and it's just like a, a apparently it's like a two week celebration. Um, and uh, there's a, there's a few. Okay, so the Viet are very superstitious, and obviously the Chinese are as well. And so one of the things is um, if you're going to prepare for uh, the New Year, um, then you want to be cleaning the house uh, before the first. And so today is actually the beginning of uh, New Year. And so what you're supposed to do is actually clean house first yesterday. <laughs> and also, apparently, I, I didn't know about this, but you're supposed to actually, you're not supposed to take a shower on the New Year. I'm like, <laughs> really? Really? Okay. And uh, part of that is just, um, I think, superstition about uh, washing away or sweeping away the bad luck. Or sorry, the good luck. And so... Um, they're very superstitious, and so I just remember when we have our, um, our get-togethers. What I really enjoyed was that uh, at that time, a lot of uh, family get together, and all my cousins and aunts and um, and mom would would create like really uh, special vid dishes, and so that's when they they created those right uh, outside of the every other day basically, and so um, some of them is like bun tek, um, that's um, it's like sticky rice with uh, usually I think it's it's been a long time since I ate the meat version I think it's pork I don't know ham mm. but the, the vegetarian version is the banana that's what I always have so <laughs> um, that's pretty good and then also uh, there's there's other other things like uh, gan uh it's like bitter melon soup te ka, um that's caramelized uh, meat and then um Gan mang, which is uh, bamboo soup, um, and soy, which is again just sticky rice, and so that was a time when um, you know family would actually go out there and, and cook the special stuff. And I'm sure there's the jai yao and you know, all the, the normal stuff, but the stuff that you normally don't have is when they actually they they cook them up. And so um, again, very superstitious. Uh, apparently, the first day um, is mainly. Let's see here. Again, I don't know a lot of the traditions. So, if Viet friends, if you know the traditions, write them down. <laughs> Let me know. Because, again, I, I didn't grow up with a lot. But I do remember playing games like Bao Gua, Ka, um, and then Ka Gop. Uh, but I think that's a Thai version because it has a tiger. Gop is, is tiger. And it's like it's six different things. And you place your bets. It's like gambling. The kids can play. And you, 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 you roll three dice. And then you see which which things come up, and then if you match it, you gotta pay it up. Uh, it was, it's a lot of fun uh, as a kid, and so uh, at the same time, another celebration thing is uh, it's lion dancing, or Vietnamese is mulang, and you know that's where they um, they make a lot of noise, and it's supposed to scare away like evil spirits and stuff like that, and they try to make as much noise as possible so the you know to protect themselves and ward off again uh, any evil spirit. So. Um, it's, to me, uh, it's just a, a chance to see people, <laughs> which I like. And so, uh, what did I do today? 
I, do you know what I cooked? That's right, nothing. <laughs> I decided today to go um, to treat myself a little bit and support a local temple. Uh, and so they're actually not too far from me. And so one of the dishes I ordered is one that I normally don't make or have. And I'm just uh, heating it up right now. If you guys wanna see. I don't know, can you see that? Let me get this out of the way. All right, so here's the bowl, baby. Oh my gosh, I'm getting hungry. Okay. This, so this is called bumgil, okay? So Viet, you know what that is, okay? So boom is vermicelli, okay? So all you do, you wanna, you wanna have a layer of vermicelli. Oh yeah. Here's some vegan ham in it. I got to go, obviously, so um, with all Vietnamese dishes or soups, there's always a ton of fresh herbs and veggies, which that's one of the things I love the most about uh, Vietnamese food. And uh, obviously this is from a temple, so it's a vegetarian version. And for some reason I can't freaking open this, so. Scissors it is. <laughs> All right. Uh, actually, what? Ooh, take a look at that, friends. Take a look at that. Can you see that? So good. Mm. So I have some extra kale, actually. So I'm just gonna throw that in. Uh, you know what? I'm going to add the soup first. I'm gonna add the soup first, and then I'm going to add the rest. And so, where's my spoon? Oh yeah. I don't know why I have a spoon. I should be having a... No, it didn't give me anything. Okay. So here we go. Here's the soup. I just heated it up. And I'm uh, getting hungry, so I'm getting excited. Oh yeah. So this is a vegetarian version. Boom, girl, baby. Come on now. And so, the signature part of this dish is uh, this stuff. Normally, the uh, the meat version is it's crab uh, stuff. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that hits the spot. I feel like a little kick. Jalapenos, baby. I do like a kick. And my favorite herb, basil. Oh yeah. Oh. And of course, there's always, what do you call this? Bean sprouts, yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna throw everything in. That's kind of how we do it. And then last but not least, a wedge of lime. And you always wanna get it into the, the water if possible. But this one seems very minimal on juice. Arrgh. But you know what? I have some lemon. So, I'm gonna cut up a little bit of lemon, add it in, and guess what? Bob's your uncle. Come on now. Oh yeah, look at that baby. Come on, come on, yeah. So good, I cannot wait to try this. All right, let's see if you guys can see this. I'll bring it up a little closer. There it is. Looks pretty good, egg. All right. I, for one, like my food hot. So <laughs> I just want to share with you guys. Hope you have an amazing uh, new year if you're celebrating. Uh, and be safe, of course. And I'll see you tomorrow. Ciao.